What's up Team Hawkhouse, Jonathan Buckhouse here and in today's video I'm going to teach you guys how to tune up your skis and snowboard, mainly snowboard, I snowboard, but everything I'm going to show you will also work on your skis. With the ski and snowboard season right around the corner, it's important that we pull our snowboards out of wherever we were storing them underneath the bed or in the garage or whatever, pull them out, put some nice wax on them, make sure we don't got any rust on the edges or anything like that and just get ready to rip because the ski season is going to be insane. So this is my first time using my wax station that I built too, so I'm really excited to make this video. If you missed the whole build of the wax station, you can check that video out right here. And uh, enough talking, let's let's get into waxing. So you gotta plug the iron in. Make sure it's at a good temperature. So while it's warming up, you, gotta, you wanna clean your base. Before we get too much into this video though, I do wanna mention that we are sponsored by Pearl Wax for just everything waxing. So all the materials, everything I'm gonna use to wax my snowboard is from Pearl. Pearl has the best eco-friendly wax that, that I've ever used. It's incredibly fast, tons of options. You can even go all plant-based if you want. That way you know you're doing well for the environment. Not only are all their products quality, but it is a female-owned business, a family-owned business. They're incredible people. And if you use my code BUCK20 at checkout, you save 20% off your whole order. So Pearl Wax and all of their information is linked in the description. They are not only a sponsor of this video, but they're a sponsor of me in general. They sponsored me for the last three seasons, which is incredible. So go support a small business that is supporting another small business. And uh, all right, let's clean the base. I just use paper towels. You can use like a, a rag or a cloth or something that might be a little, grab it a little harder. Look at that. I almost forgot to mention, so if you do have rust on your board, you can get like a gummy stone or you can just sharpen your edges. You wanna do that before one, you clean your base, which is what I just did, but also before you wax. You wanna make sure that you get any of that stuff off your board. So just get like a gummy stone. This will be linked in the description. And you're just gonna kind of run it over the spots and kind of deburr, get all the chunks off the base of your board. So you got some rust right here. Full disclaimer before we get into all of this, this is how I tune my snowboard. There's so many ways to wax your snowboard. There's like the super nerdy, professional way that you can get really into detail, or there's just a Joe Blow way. I'm gonna show you my way, which is kind of more of the Joe Blow way. Just how to get your board ready for the mountain. If you do it this way, you're gonna have an incredible time. Once you've cleaned the base, you wanna make sure it dries completely before applying the wax. So we're just gonna kind of wait it out, let it completely dry, and then we'll add our wax. So while we wait for it to dry, we'll just get a quick game in. All right, we're, uh, I crushed it and we're good to uh, put some wax. So we're gonna go with the uh, purple all temp because it's early season. We don't know what the weather could be. It could be cold, it could be hot. So we'll go all temperature wax. So there's a couple ways to apply the wax. You can go with like the crayon version where you kind of melt it onto the iron and then you kind of just crayon it on. That's not my style. I kind of go with the overdo the wax. So I just kind of drip it onto that, onto the board. And then you have the option to kind of like go like the round motions. Some people like to do the kind of slow, go straight motion. But basically all you're trying to do is fill every inch of the snowboard with wax. All the pores, really get it in there. You never want to leave the iron still for a long period of time because you can cause your snowboard or skis to delam. You always want to keep it moving on the snowboard. Hot topic is do you wax all the way to the top of your snowboard? Someone like the ski doc would be like absolutely wax the whole snowboard. Sometimes I get lazy and I don't actually wax the nose and tail of my snowboard but for this video we'll get up there and so once again we're just kind of pushing that wax around making sure that we kind of get it everywhere All 
All right, so I got a little impatient with the waxing, so I was like, I'm gonna turn up the heat and see how it's smoking. You don't want your wax iron to be smoking like this, but that just means you're kind of burning the wax. So I turned it up too much, we'll turn it back down, but I did get the whole board completely waxed. It's ready to, ready to cool. So now you wanna wait for the wax to get to room temperature. You don't wanna scrape it right away. You definitely like wait. So like so, a lot of times what I do is I'll, I'll wax and then I'll go to bed and then the next day I'll scrape it. So while we wait for this to, uh, to dry, why don't you guys hit the subscribe button and then uh, let's get another game in. All right, crush that one. So now that the base is dry, we want to scrape it. You're gonna have a scraper. I recommend a plastic scraper, not a metal scraper. Because with the metal scraper, you can actually scrape away the actual base of the snowboard. But with the plastic scraper, they kind of get dull. So Pearl has this wax scraper sharpener. You gotta stick this guy in there and you just... Now you're nice and sharp and ready for the scrape. So I know what you're thinking, if you're new to snowboarding, you wanna get into waxing your snowboards, like man, this is a ton of stuff. Just so you know that Pearl Wax offers a full wax starter kit. It's gonna come with a scraper, it's gonna come with the brush, it's gonna come with some wax, it's gonna come with the iron. Everything you need to tune up your skis or snowboard, Pearl will have that in the wax starter kit and that 20%, buck 20, will give you the 20% off of the whole like wax starter kit. So it's, it's a pretty awesome deal. Uh, best case for people who are new to skiing and snowboarding that wanna get into tuning their own gear instead of spending $60 every time they go to a ski shop. So once you got your wax all scraped off to your liking, you need to get a brush. And then with the brush, you do strokes in one direction. Across the whole board. So basically you're creating little tiny channels for the snow when it melts under your base to kind of run through which is gonna help you go faster. And that's the whole reason why we wax, is for speed. And then you just give it a wipe. And blam! Wax snowboard. If you guys are wondering how I held up the snowboard too, Pearl has these awesome like little snowboard slash ski rack holders. You can even put the board in like that. It's super awesome. And these things are like hand carved. They're super, they're super cool. But with all that, that's just the Joe Blow quick way how to tune your snowboard. You give yourself this wax on your skis, your snowboards, anything. It's gonna get the job done for you. You're gonna have an incredible day in the mountain. You can snowboard faster. You should tune your gear every three to four days of snowboarding, especially if you're riding like six or more hours those days. Uh, your snowboard will also kind of tell you when it wants more wax, whether you're riding slower or if it's kind of looking white at the base of your board. And so if you're tuning your snowboards like to the true, like every four to six days, like if you're going to a ski shop and everything like that, that starts to get a little pricey. So doing it yourself is definitely the way to go. And I know a bunch of you guys have been asking for a new version of this video. So I'm stoked that this, uh, to get this one for you. I'm just stoked on this wax setup. It's pretty, it's pretty sick. It's so nice to be able to just do this at the house, have a specific spot for it, keep the mess over here. And uh, yeah, I guess at the end of the day, stoking. Make sure to unplug your iron by the way. If you have any more questions about waxing, make sure you guys comment down below. And if this video has helped you, make sure you guys smash that like button. With all that being said, season six is right around the corner. So make sure you guys snack some evolution stickers before the season starts, whether you're a skier or a snowboarder. That way uh, everyone knows you're part of Team Hubcast. And with that, as always, thanks for watching. Keep evolving. We'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. I'm on top of the ocean, living like life ain't frozen. Feeling my feet been chosen for something other than motion, yeah. Mama told me I'ma be somebody. I Completely clue. <clears throat> Sorry, Cody. I can't speak clean right now.